Tonight, word of a prestigious award for a Baltimore inventor who has given independence to some people who use wheelchairs. Richard Chair reports from outside the University of Maryland Medical Center. 42-year-old Shelly Comantino has been battling multiple sclerosis for 20 years. Thanks to her friend Jim's Breakwell wheelchair braking system, she can now use her wheelchair as a walker and use the handbrakes Jim and his cousin created to stop safely. It's wonderful. It's so great. It's like the brakes on a bicycle and so helpful to physically challenged people. This innovation makes it so much safer, allows better independence for people. Uh, I think it has far-reaching uses, not just in MS, but anyone who's using a wheelchair. Jim and Shelley have been best friends for years and how badly she wanted to be able to go shopping alone. I said I wish they had brake wheelchairs with brakes on the back so you could use your wheelchair like a walker and then that way if you got tired you could roll to where you needed to go. By June 2006, Jim and his cousin Veach had created the Breakwell wheelchair braking system. Now I can go shopping by myself and it's wonderful. So wonderful that on September 20th, Jim travels to Michigan to receive the prestigious Da Vinci Award from the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, Michigan chapter for his innovation in adaptive and assistive technology. I feel humbled because to, to be grouped in with companies such as Ford and Yamaha and iTouch Bionics and only have a two-man operation lumped in with Fortune 500 companies, it, it's kind of humbling. Even though if he might think it's not, he doesn't, uh, he shouldn't get it, I know, I know better. And how about this? Jim's last name is Breakwell, inventor of the Breakwell wheelchair braking system. $100 installed, Denise. How can you beat that? For complete details, be sure to log on to our website at WJZ.com because WJZ is always on. Right, Dee? That's exactly right, Richard. Right now, the University of Maryland Medical Center is treating 2,000 patients with multiple sclerosis.